Greetings family, Bomani time by here family and we are here in Jahadzi and uh, right now we're here at our Black Star Pan-African Community House slash office uh, here at uh, the uh, Jahadzi estate and uh, we have another beautiful brand new group uh, while we're here on tour for this Ghana May, June 2023 journey of a lifetime. And we just pulled in this beautiful Toyota Coaster from Accra. It seemed like the ride was much shorter this time. It took us about maybe about 90 minutes. So as traffic and the roads get better, uh, we're gonna eventually have it to where it's a smooth ride from Accra to Jahadzi. Now I keep telling people when we first came here in December of 2019, uh, less than uh, four years ago, almost nothing what you have seen existed. So we're taking it to another level. You know, we're trendsetters. We're trying to just build a vision, the same vision as when people were interested in um, uh, land and prom prom. Then now they are, you know, making prom prom that incredible place. So as far as the vision of us uh, opening the energy for a new town where we can uh, put our black cooperative economic dollars together to where we can build a vision of pan-Africanism where we just have different uh, groups of uh, black people from all over the world uh, literally connecting into a town and building that energy so you know, just like as I talk about uh, Prom Prom uh, Ningo uh, where we visited yesterday uh, based on the vision of uh, black people from the African diaspora you know we have to just come out in a rural area and say hey this area is beautiful, we have land everywhere, but now let's focus on how we're gonna acquire the land, clear the land, and build a foundation from the ground up. So our land is actually in a nice short walking distance straight ahead, but we're gonna definitely give you a better view of that. Right now what I wanna do is give you a feel of our office setup. Now, this is just uh, a foundation, so you know we don't have everything all set up like we have it there in Georgia where it's a vibrant uh, office where you just come in. So what you see is still certain aspects of empty space. So within the next few months, we're gonna be decorating and setting it up uh, and making sure we have all of our business files and things like that in place. So right now it's one of those situations where we're just growing and building. Now this is my favorite piece of artwork right here. The famous Black Star Pan-African Community logo. As a matter of fact, the design of the logo, one of our group members is right here with us for the first time and you know, he's gonna, as a matter of fact, the man himself is right here as I speak of him. Uh, he just laid a great found, he, he just said, he's like, Bomani, this is my contribution to the operation, the logo. And I was like, brother, that's what's up. That's right, that's right, that's right. I'm a, I'm a uh, uh, entrepreneur, I'm a man of all trades, and one thing I do is graphic designs and my spare time for hobby. So I design this because I want to give something powerful, something very powerful to represent our new community here in Africa. The design of the logo that you, that you right. probably wear, oh, this right. is the man himself, okay. our group member Rakim. Very positive, and what this is called a sigil. A sigil is something that represents uh, the collective of the mind of the people. So, anytime somebody see this, they will look at it. We know what it means, but to others, it's just art. But it has more in the meaning of it than just artwork. So, this is strictly for us, and can't nobody copy it. Yeah, brother, that was awesome, man. I remember you sending it to me. I was like, what's up? That's what, that's, what, that's, what, that's what I'm talking about. We just need more people to say, hey, I'm going to work on this project and get it done. So that's what, that's what we push the group economics and the group uh, you know, you know, contribution so we can just you know, build it up from the ground up. But this is us family, Black Star Pan-African community, and just um, like we went to Prom Prom yesterday. Yes. That area was, there was nothing out there at one point. And all, so it's the same vision. Same, so. same, same uh, yeah, so they give it another five years or so, you're not going to be able to get land out here. No, you're not. No, I agree 100%.
It looks very nice on the paint too, brother. And it looks nice on the shirt. You remember Zebo? Yeah, we're gonna work on some new designs for the shirt. Right. Perfect. Man, it looks nice on the shirt. Yeah. I'm admiring my artwork. This is my artwork. Yeah, it's eventually great visionary. So. And yes. yeah. Right. Gra graphic artist, graphic designer. It's, it's, it's our incredible logo, Sammy. That's right. That's right, it's brother. Beautiful. It works. Yeah. And I'm beautiful on the shirt, too. Man. He is. Yeah. But you know, my brother's here. He's been holding it down. He's uh, one of the only few. Matthew, you're the only one that agreed to, to be here. Pioneer. Yeah, you're a pioneer. Yeah. Uh, a little pioneer. We're about to name a street after you. Yeah, people, yeah, people talk about uh, moving and doing things. But uh, when they come out here, I already got a restaurant going. I'm yeah. going to name a boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Azibo, you've been holding it down, and the place look, the place look beautiful. That's so right. this summer, yeah. when um, when our other business partner move in, we're just going to decorate the whole house. That's right. That's and right. it's another That's right. our great brother, Kwabna, who literally came down here and took a look at the oh, land yeah. and said, hey, Bomani is good, let's uh, jump on it. Yeah. So. As you see, brother, we're, get, we're getting there. Yeah, yeah. Nice place. For mine, in the future, a double club where American furniture can compare to, America, to English. Maybe I like that because people have been asking questions about if, it can, if the plugs here can use a regular one compared to what Ghana use. Uh, yeah, all these, most of what you're going to see in, in, from the hotels to places is universal. And then every device that you have now, it goes from 120 to 220, so it automatically uh, converts. So all you need is just a universal connection. And the only thing I'm not sure about is with the fridge and things like that. Okay. But family, let me yeah, just we, see we what we got back so here. If it is one to get it and get it, that was ten out. So this is a three bedroom, two bathroom unit. And don't want to show you too much of. All right. Spacious room. As I was saying to our brother, we have all of the universal connections here. Place very secure. And this is the back bedroom where you know you have a direct view and what you'll see straight ahead, you may not be able to see it directly, but you'll get you closer is a red building. And that is one of the highlights to show you our Black Star Pan African community. So straight ahead is the 15 acres, and maybe about a half a mile behind us is the 60 acres, which we'll get to uh, this afternoon. And the second bathroom. A nice utility closet. Yes, brother Zibo, let's see what it looked like in the back. Thank you for cleaning up the place, the car. We Wonderful. Can clean up, we can clean up all week long. And a nice kitchen. So, just like uh, you know, your average three bedroom, two bathroom house, but uh, we'll use it as an office. And uh, once um, our new partner move in, uh, we're going to just take this to another level. Can you, uh, can you open the back real quick? And right there, you know, you, you know, you know, we definitely gotta have the red, black, and green flag. All right, don't look too bushy today. So this is um one big plot. I want to say this is about a hundred by eighty. Hundred by eighty? Yeah, yeah. Just about a little bit less than a hundred by eighty. So this is kind of. Based on how the house sits here, that's how your plot will look there on the 15 acres. You have this much space, so you set your house up and then you have a nice backyard and you know you can grow your 
mango trees and all that good stuff. Right. I'm growing watermelons over there. They got they got uh, planting fields over there where you can grow cassava, uh, cocoa yams, uh, uh, cabbage, uh, tomatoes, pepe. You, you you can grow your own garden. You you got you got your own garden over there next door. There you go, family. And when you look straight ahead, you see that red building. So basically, that is the Black South Pan African community land, which we're gonna go visit uh, shortly. And uh, this is just a place we need to establish to where we just have the infrastructure to just run business and be able to just uh, our members, our guests can come by, meet us, connect with us, and you know we give them a tour of the 15 plus 60 acres and give them a, a view of the uh, business district and the beach area. So we're visionaries, family, and we're just being honest with you. When we first came out here, none of this existed, and uh, you know so. You know, let's uh, connect together and uh, you know and let's build this place up. Build this whole town up. You know, make it represent uh, energy of Pan Africanism. That's right. It's, it's it's a village. It's not even a town. It's not even close to. A, a, it's a small village. That's all this place is. But it's got a lot of beautiful people. I, that's why I call it the beautiful village of Jahazi. People here call it Jazzy. Jazzy, yeah. You know, Jazzy, yeah. I want to have a, I want to have a concert. I want to have a con jazz, a reggae concert. I'm gonna call it Jazzy Jazzy. Yeah, there you go, man. We have the innovators. <laughs> see, every time I turn around, there's new buildings. I'm like, what is over there? Yeah. But you know, people also see you know what we're doing and you're moving in because I was telling everybody, you know, I've seen other parts of Ghana where it was just nothing out there, and then you know people start coming. So. We're trendsetters, family, and we just want you right. to connect with us to support this vision so we can build something to where That's we can right. have a nice pan-African energy to where great minds of black people from different parts of the world can connect and support work together. A pan-African youth movement. I One of my cousins is a There you go. Say hello to the people. Hello. Yes. Okay, you've, seen, you've, you've seen this place grow. Yes. Let's get ready to grow. And then what we can do is I'll uh, come in and take a nice group picture as we've done before. Yes. Oh yes, absolutely. It's very cute. Best pack economic youth movement. My family just always My excited, family. just love being here uh, because I'm telling you, this. That's right. You no. Know? Some of us have to just build from the grassroots and be the visionary. So we're going to keep on working at this and uh, give us a few years. You're going to be surprised of this entire town. Um, and Azibo has seen this vision. He's here all the time. So he can, better than I can tell you because he, he's here physically seeing the growth over a period of time. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> these people here, they, they need jobs. It's, they need jobs everywhere. but. More in the rural areas, uh, the village areas, they, they need it worse, more so than the people in the cities, in the city part. So what we devised is a program, a youth movement program, an economic youth movement program designed to provide uh, micro businesses, businesses for employment of the uh, youth in this area. And, uh, we're accepting donations from people that live here. We accept the donations from tourists that come here to just to, to go on tour. And we're accepting donations from Pan-Africans who uh, agree with what, what we're trying to do in the community. So we, all, we, we say give it till it hurts, you know. Give to our liberation. And this is the uh, best pack economic youth movement canister to which we, we are we're gonna mass produce and we're gonna go out and we're gonna do canvassing for uh, support of our our youth movement. Uh, we uh, opened up a, 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 a ice cream shop and a restaurant. The ice cream shop we we want a soft serve machine which costs about two to three three thousand three grand. So this, this this fund right here will go towards getting that um, that self serve machine that's so badly needed for our shop, carpentry and all of the other things that that's, that we're trying to do. Uh, you know, we we are moving slowly but surely, but 
we, we're getting it done. We got to start somewhere. So why not start here? Why not start now? Exactly, and the goal is to just build a foundation and keep building on it. That's right. So family, uh, the journey continues, and uh, we're going to actually just take you to our Black South Pan-African community, 15 acres, and show you some of the uh, growth and the foundation of this other people that are building their homes. That's right. um, and I'm telling you, family, this was a jungle out here when we came. It was and bush. now it's, you know, it's All bush. coming together as a nice, beautiful, small town. So appreciate you, Baba Zeba, brother. Uh, the journey continues. And family, um, reach out to us um, uh, as far as, uh, you know, showing us any love and support. And if you have, uh, you know, your best grant writers, people who can just uh, connect with the vision, you know, reach out to me and Azebo and let's talk about it. That's right. Absolutely, brother. So family, uh, we, are, we have a lot more to share with you and appreciate your energy and support because uh, we're doing this for us, the future of our children, our ancestors, and just for us establishing ourselves to the highest level so we can compete as a people. That's right. And then we have the man right here. Fifi, this is one of the property managers. You know, Fifi, this, is, uh, this was the first unit, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah, you see, we're about business. We, we, we just jumped on it. Sure, this is the first sentence. Yeah, so we're going to keep, you know, keep using it, and thank you for just you know, making sure it works. But also, other people want to know if there's additional units available. Yeah, we have two bedrooms, and I think the three bedroom is only one of that aspect. So you got to give me one of those uh, lease agreement, well, not lease agreement, one of those um, applications, because I have people that want to move here. Yeah, absolutely, brother. We're gonna we have to we know we're gonna work together strong, All right. and we're gonna get the rest of the units here filled up, and get more people to come into town. All right, how would that give it to you? Uh, is he from Jahadzi? Uh, are you from Jahadzi? I'm not from Jahadzi. You from Winneba? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. no. From Winneba. Yeah. It seems like nobody's from Jahadzi. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's from Jahadzi is in Jahadzi. <laughs> Believe me, you know, it's a big deal. Yeah, we are yeah, from Winneba and. Wonderful. But you like Jihad, you know, it's a, it's a nice small town that we can grow together. Sure, that is what we are doing. Yeah. So now you can see that. And this, this, uh, this, uh, you know, this estate right here, it opens up where people can just live. You start seeing that you can actually live in a small, beautiful town like this. Sure, sure. So we are, we are trying to build another story about this at the top there. To make the place out here. Yeah. You know, perfect. I'm going to actually go back there and check it out too, you know, before we leave. So family, uh, once again family, so this is Black Star Pan-African Community Office, home, and the journey continues and we have a whole lot more to share with you, but please just reach out to us. Uh, we're looking for great people to work with.